Avicularia avicularia, sometimes called the pink toe or Guyana pink toe tarantula, is a New World arboreal tea. This species originated from Central and South America, so they can be found from Costa Rica to Brazil, as well as the Southern Caribbean. They have a medium growth rate and reach a maximum leg span around 5 to 6 inches. These teas have mild venom and urticating hairs, but they're type 2, meaning they do not kick their urticating hairs like many other New World tarantulas, but they can rub off onto your skin if you come into direct contact with them. As an added line of defense, Avix are known for shooting their poop at a perceived threat in an attempt to escape. Females of the species can live up to 12 years, while males have a shorter lifespan of 3 to 4 years. This species can be quick and are prone to jumping, but are on the more docile of the temperament spectrum, choosing to flee before showing any signs of defensive behavior. I have never received a threat posed from an avicularia personally, though I am sure it can happen if they're annoyed and have no avenue of escape. Husbandry is fairly straightforward, though many internet care sheets tend to overcomplicate it. In my experience, cross-ventilation is more important than arbitrary humidity level. The humidity needs for an AVIC can easily be achieved with a large water dish with plenty of surface area. I avoid misting their enclosures, despite what some of the older care sheets suggest. I have read many discussions that suggest over-misting high humidity and stagnant air could be the cause of a lot of unexplained AVIC deaths. I keep my AVICs from slings to full-grown adults all nearly the same. A size-appropriate arboreal enclosure meaning taller than it is wide. And a good rule of thumb here is that it's at least three times as tall as a tarantula is long. For the slings and juveniles, I usually glue a small plastic water dish to the side of the enclosure on the top half. But as adults, I usually just keep a large water dish on the floor of the enclosure. I'll put a small amount of substrate in the bottom and then a large stick or a cork bark that's a little shorter than the enclosure and wide enough for the tarantula to hide behind and then rest it at an angle so it can hide from view behind it and use it as anchor points should it choose to build web tunnels. You can also add some sphagnum moss on top of the substrate or hot glue some to the cork bark and occasionally sprinkle some water on it to keep it moist if you're worried the air in your home is too dry as that can help maintain some humidity in the enclosure without requiring you to disturb them by misting them. Adding some fake plants or leaves seems to make them feel a little more secure and are more prone to stay out in the open. As I mentioned before, cross ventilation is key, so make sure, whether it's a sling enclosure or an adult enclosure, that there are air holes drilled on both sides providing ample ventilation. It seems stagnant air is what you want to avoid at all cost, and I have found that if I don't add ventilation holes directly to the top of the enclosure, but I have enough on the sides, it will have plenty of exchanged air and maintain enough ventilation to make for a happy, healthy tea. As far as feeding, I usually offer my adults four or five crickets once a week and remove any uneaten prey within 24 hours. And as with most tarantulas, they will refuse food for weeks or months while in pre-mold. So if your tea doesn't take the food, don't worry. Just remove the prey and try again in a week or two. Now I keep these tarantulas at room temperature, like with most of my teas. I know if I'm comfortable, they're comfortable. And there you go, the first ever Tarantula Tuesday video here in the Tarantula Collective. I hope you found this video informative and somewhat enjoyable. Be sure to like this video so new keepers can find it further on down the line. And if you have any suggestions on species we should cover here in the future, be sure to leave those down below in the comments. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe so you know when we upload a video in the future. And don't forget to join us in our Facebook group to carry on the conversation. And follow us on Instagram if you want to see a lot of pictures of tarantulas. Again, thank you all for watching. I will see you next Tuesday.